Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You're oh, on. I, oh, wait. No, I've got to do that. Welcome uh... to the Dork Table. <laughs> this is Flash Somebody and Say Hi, Vinny. Come on. You can do it. Hi, Vinny. Uh, <laughs> are, we, are we on air? We are live coming from the Dork Table at 257,000 miles an hour. Because remember, we're going to the moon on this episode. Well, maybe. Hey, Whoops. if they say it can't know. be I'm done, fuck it. We're doing it. There you go. Well, say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, wait a, wait a minute. Uh, I, I, know. There. I, I, I did the show now. Okay, you now ready? I'm okay. okay. I got it. Yeah. Sure? Show now. Wait a yes, minute. it's the dork table with Flash and Captain Viniverse. Superheroes. <laughs> um, yeah. I believe I can fly. So we're flying to the moon. (laughs) (laughs) And people say drugs are bad. (laughs) Wow. I told you they just expanded your mind. Anyway, where are we at? The dork table and your mini. We are. You going to say hi to all the the local yokels? I am. I will. Mm. And I'll do it now. Hi, bar man. Good time to do it. He is, uh, yeah, he's the product of the great and mighty Grim near. I call him Papa Grim. Grim Daddy. He's awesome. Love the Grim. The old Moosey's, man. Moosey's there, but I think she's on the loose. The oh, Moose is yeah. on the loose. Probably, we, probably we have employed today. We do have our great and wonderful Kate. Grimner. Yay, Kate. Nice Kate. Love Kate. What are you doing over there? Sit mm. still, will you? I can't. It's, oh, it's in my was talk- Oh, I was talking about me. Good. My audio. Ah, <laughs> your audio. That again. It's always oh, something with you. There's, there, it's the phantom, I tell you. And the there he phantom. is, right there in chat. Yeah. There he is. I wonder if he's really there or if he's just logged on. Oh, you know what? I have I an inquiring not. mind. I need to know this shit. I, I want to get a job for the NSA. Maybe TSA. Ooh. Searching people. That would be kind of a cool career. David West, I think is his name. I'll have to find that video. It's pretty good. He did uh, uh, Dick Dick something was his name, a TSA agent. And he was all like, oh, yeah, this is my kind of job. Dick <laughs> I wouldn't do that for David, the love David of money. David Kirk West. I, yeah. I, 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 I was being sarcastic. I wouldn't do that for fucking nothing. No, this is a really good video. I yeah, go I bet it, it is. Yeah. Hey, look what I well, found I, no, this I guess, guy's ass. Woo. I guess I, wait a minute. I better go on down the line here. Then I'll go get distracted. And there's anti. I anti. like anti. Yeah. I hey. like that. Anti, anti and Uncle yeah. I and Cousin I yeah. and Asmo. Mm. There's Asmo. Asmo. Yeah. And there I am, one of me. Captain Veniverse. Dun dun dun! <laughs> it's for the children. <laughs> My biggest problem I face is the uh, decreasing number of phone booths in the country. Yeah, your tights might shrink the tr- at the cleaner. <laughs> Ooh, ah, mm. Hold on, <clears throat> there we go. Ah, Chalcedony and the most beautiful and oh. wonderfulest person in the world. Circle line. Hello, honey. Hi, honey. Because I I know her very very well. Yeah, you have a pretty lucky feller. Hi, Chloe. Chloe, singular. Is that lovely Chloe and Oaky Tup? And how about Colfax? Yeah, then my favorite one's coming up. (laughs) Shabby (laughs) baby. It's too funny. I, I, I don't know why. D, 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 D dash C, Don. Hey, Don. Hello, Don. Yeah. You know, Don, Dakota. Don compares me to Loki on the RLM. This is, this is a stir up the pot a little bit. Lucky I, Loki. Hey, at least he doesn't call me a <laughs> dolt. <laughs> or Dakota, because hey, there's Don. Dakota right there. Dakota. Right on the Yeah. Hey, guess who's next? That's quite a name. Uh, yeah, that's something. me. No, that's me. <laughs> no, I'll find it here in a minute. But we're going to go down. There's Flash. Yeah, somebody. Me. Some booty. Yeah. 
then I like then, this. Then then then, 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 we got the Canada, Canada stuck in the room too. Yeah, the one I've with got, the sense uh, of humor that never ends. Yeah, we. Uh, He's a we funny we man, Mr. this Mister Frumpy. Hello, ah. Frumpy, <laughs> and Grams, and Grammy. Oh, Grammy's here. Oh, hello, Grammy. I don't see her in the room. She's probably just logged on. Yeah, and there's Gromit. You know, Gromits are important. Gromit. Yeah, I saw the name lately, but I don't know. I don't know Gromit. Well, I've not been probably... formally introduced to your friend Gromit. <laughs> and there's there's a Abidon C. Abidon. I and Java, 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 Java Doctor, Java Doctor yeah. too. And here's your favorite guy, Judge Dude Dread. My favorite, uh, my favorite supporter of Mother State. Hanson, how do you do? I'm having strudel today. No, strudel. Okay, so, yeah, you, you uh, was talking, you said that on uh, July the 18th, the 2017 broadcast of the Dork Table with you and uh, Grammy. <laughs> That uh, she did a pretty oh. cute little voice of a frulein in the first time that uh, <laughs> Hans meets his future yeah. bride to be. <laughs> it was priceless. <laughs> she tells Go a very good joke. Tape. Oh yeah, I, I enjoyed <laughs> it good. tremendously. No way, I like it too. I can Ooh, like yeah. things if I want. You're not the boss of me. And here's our uh, feller across the pond, JJ's uh, triple nines, uh, JJ's. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yep. What a taco. E, si quieres un taco. Want a taco? And Kozu. Hey, Co layer eight and Kozu. Well, that's interesting. Well, I've never seen layer eight. Me neither. Could be a layer Russian eight. spy. Probably uh -huh. a Russian spy. I wonder if it has to do with that uh, hmm. link I shared. Uh, uh, hey, Mr. Meister Brown. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I bet he drinks that piss American beer. Wow. Got it. <laughs> you bet. Uh, he writes about it on the damn page, and you go, I bet. What? You can't read uh, all of a sudden? What no, do you, well, he doesn't tell him what kind, what kind of beer. Tell, Does he say well, what kind of beer he drinks? Yeah, tell him what kind of moose piss you drink, Woody, so he'll get off your back. <laughs> it's the, they, they fetch it from under, in a bucket from underneath the Clydesdale. Vincent, why do you like to ride Mr. Woody, <clears throat> Woody so much? Moi? Yeah. Moi? Oh, yeah, moi. Yeah, there's... You. There he is. You would Above. picker on her, you? <laughs> <laughs> he's fun to pick on. Because he's, he's a big tough guy, and he yeah, can't reach me yeah. through <laughs> these internet wires. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fucking glad of that, too. Anyway. <laughs> but there's a box of poxies, all of them fried Miss and phoned and sauced Ma up. Ma on all rain. Pox and pox and pox and it's beginning to end. But the fluke uh, RLM fluke. Uh, the year when I, I, th I think I have. Uh, a, uh, I think uh, I have some pretty. software that needs to be um, scrutinized by the fluke. I uh, I think uh, I think she's got something going on with her barman here. <laughs> Hank don't care. Hank could fuck a cheese sandwich. Anyway. Bubble alert! Rob works. Snubo! <laughs> Rob works. You're so I wrap the bubblers. Why are you so I'm... These These people support you in your efforts to inform the free world of the shenanigans that the government What? I didn't do to. nothing wrong. No, what did I do wrong? You're mean. <laughs> oh, I, I look at you and I think you're mean. Go figure how mean you must be to make me say that out loud. <laughs> It's it's just a put on a sock puppet. Hi sock. There's our sock. Put so, your dirty socks yeah. on. We're going to the dark table. Let, let's make sock talk. Sock talk. Yeah, <laughs> we were gonna have the yeah. sock talk. It's the other end of pillow talk. Child, it's time we had the talk about the sock. Wow, how sad. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Okay. Those socks are no, standing by themselves in the corner. I was trying to minimize. You're on your own. I can't read your uh, your Skype window is taking a control of my 
fucking computer in. Uh, you're going to have to what? Out. There it goes. Wait a minute. It vanished again. It was sitting yeah. right over the last five names on the board. Uh-uh. Mm. Uh-uh. Go ahead, go ahead. So now I There's, memorized uh, them, so I know who they are. The F bomb Skittle. Whoa, Skittle. I don't know how you can focus on one word when you got a mouthful of rainbows, Skittle. Trust, trust no number one. You trust no one. That too. But number one. Get yourself. And there one is the one and only. Uh, you? The one and only, the mini Vinny Vinny E R L M O Radio. Wow, you're so special. I, no, no. You know what? I'm naming my next kid Vinny, even if it's a boy. Really? No, I'm just saying that. Maybe my uh, next pet. Hey, if, what if we not... got me and Cirque might get something exotic <laughs> like a turtle? Then I name it Vinny. Uh, very slow. Well, yeah, but turtles are like non-combative. You know who who's afraid of a turtle? You know what I mean? Other turtles. <laughs> you're the tur- okay. You're the turtle expert out of the two of us. Yeah, well, yeah Vinny the what turtle. What say, turtle or tortoise or turpin? <laughs> it's seven kind of mates with him. Yeah. Who says that? I did. Didn't you hear me? Oh, I thought you were insinuating like it was a global thing and everybody was doing it now. It was like the next catchphrase. Turtles no, the, rule. Uh, no. No. Mm, they're actually uh, they're, they're trying to pass a law somewhere to protect uh, this aquatic uh, turtle. Mm. Why is it they're some like kind everywhere, of a, man. I don't a, know, but you know what? Source? The, turtles migrate. Oh, and they'll, okay. they'll, they'll come into a pond and just clean out all the fish, wow. eat them all up. Yeah. Yeah. And then move I on. Mean, yeah. So you got to regulate them. Oh, like they're, so they're like Americans only. They don't, they, only they move on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. We, okay. We come, we come to conquer. And you know, know. these water, water, uh, terrapin or tortoise or turtles, mm-hmm. they're, uh, they're a lot faster than one might suppose. So have you conquered anybody new this week, Vinny, or are you just still living off the glory days of last week's kill? Well, I've had some engagement uh, and uh, over there on the Twitter sphere. But yeah. uh, before I go there, I'm going to actually go over. <laughs> I want to find that. I think it's Dick Durbin. Uh, but I know it comes from David Kirk West. He's done... Uh, some short films. Actually, he, uh, I think this won a contest and, uh, I think it played through over at, uh, the, uh, AJ, uh, channel at one time. Yeah. Do you know what's going on with that? I haven't even read anything about this. Absolutely uh, not sure what you're talking about yet. That's how informed about I am that, right now. Oh, about, um, Alex Jones and being banned or censored or is he even going to oh, be, yeah. uh, what I read. Rest- Okay, what I what I read pre Saturday, I believe it was on minds dot com, some some link to it. But I just was reading headlines and uh I read Alex Jones was gonna be reinstated back to the sites that banned him because some Congress bullfucker is making a big hoopla about preferring the liberals over the uh, conservatives, that kind of crap. It's just, it's uh, an advertising gimmick to give you the illusion of choice. Uh, over easy or sunny side up? Neither. How about, how about neither? I don't even want your fucking egg. How about that? Keep your fucking egg. Now what you gonna you get do? It. Huh? What you'll you gonna give me if I don't, if I don't want You're gonna any. get it in your face, buddy boy. I don't want no egg, though, Mr. Finney. Uh, but yeah, that's how the American um, government actually that's operates. It. They don't tell the people that live there the truth mm-hmm. about how they operate. You can't really. I don't think that you can hold a job or go to a, a any kind of structured kind of day, and have time to really read or understand the truth about anything and believe mm-hmm. it at the same time. You got to play one game or the other. You can't do both of these. And you can't no, the if truth. you're if you're playing this and you believe it, it's because you don't know the truth. But you can play the game and know the truth. 
but very few people do. And the truth will set you free, slaves. I'm telling you, I guarantee. Hey, think about it, right? If I'm not a slave to the United States of America, why do they think they own me through a passport? And I mean own me because can't fucking do anything without it. Therefore, I'm a slave to the document, right? Slave to the document, slave to the government, whatever illusion that we've all agreed it is, it still thinks it owns me. Even if I don't think it owns me, it says, hey, show me your papers. <laughs> so, so where's the freedom in all that, you know? But, eh. Papers, please. Yeah, well, think about it. When I was young, I didn't have to show anybody a fucking thing. That papers crap didn't start until, I don't know, 90s, I guess, maybe. Oh, I found it. Dick Johnson. That's his name. Dick TSA. Johnson. Wunderkind. Mm. All right, so I'm going to hit this. And then I'm going to uh -oh. grab. Vinny Let me is hit stop. Going, he's going to the moon now. Uh -huh. Okay, lift off. What in you guys the world are you up love to? It. How many views? 57,000 views. Uh, how many years ago was that? Uh, so I hear back uh, January January 8th, 2014. So uh, David uh, David West, David Kirk West is a friend of uh, 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 Drew. I'm blanking. Drew and uh, Chuck that uh, did double-crossed uh, radio uh, over at UCY. Really uh Really great thinking uh, involved with the state of Jefferson movement and so forth. Um, and David is a uh, he's a uh, filmmaker, among other things. And let me come back over here for you guys to uh, click over. Now, I got to wait for it to catch up, I guess, to get back into the chat. Don't say it in it, mister. OK, well, I'll. Try Don't. this other thing. Man. I'm not sure what you're talking about anymore. You're just confusing me, reading what you're thinking, Mr. Vincent. Well, I'm trying to get back over here and drop this link for uh, Dick mm. Johnson. Yeah. Wounded. Oh, you're trying to post it on the RLM? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the... Oh, thing. so you, you're it, having... It's, uh, uh, you're like, yeah, but you got to feed the fucking hamsters once in a while. You it's, can't, it's, can't work them to death like, you know, like you're worked to death, you bonehead. Come yeah, on. Well, Slaves was, like uh, us such, are unique. Such uh, good things I was saying about this putter of mine, and uh, now it's slowed down. Oh, uh, now my wife is I, debating yeah. on the main feed. Hey, man, I'm tired of waiting for you to say something. My wife is debating on the main feed. It got my attention. Do it, man. Ah, uh, because they're, well, what I see the old lady saying is the submissive holds choice. The dominant does not. Hey, I tend to agree because if I'm dominating you, I got a mission and you can't move me from that mission. So who's really got the power? <laughs> <laughs> Rocket Man. Oh, it's a two-way street in life, eh? But we're That's taught a bunch of bullshit and stupid ways to, stupid ways to value things that really don't work or make sense. I wonder if I even copied that after all of that. I don't know, but I like their topic about it. And circle <clears throat> is circle is in dominant typing mode <laughs> i can see i can see because the letters are black and the page is white get it white. i'll i'll take i'll take mine scrambled so, don't become at me with that white privilege mr mr vincent i need to ask you a question do you truly okay. believe that the white race is under some kind of persecution from the brown folks <laughs> it's it's all part of the plan baby Hmm. Is it true or is it just is you know because they did it to the blacks so you know they did it to the Mexicans yeah, yeah they did it to the conquer. brown people in Asia so now they're gonna yeah it's somebody's turn and and it's it it never ends and people do not seem to figure out that it doesn't end because it's it's based on bullshit. <laughs> All of it. Well, all I can tell you is now I'm thinking about scrambled eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Don't scramble your eggs could hurt. Hmm. To me, 
they could. Oh, I was reading the script on the RLM. Blah, 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 Oops. blah, blah. Oops. I'm I, all over got, it, uh, Chloe. Whoa, Grimner's all over it, Chloe. Ooh. Coming back. Am I coming back? I fell out. I did. I'm back. Ah, who gives it in love? Ah, the the room's all in love and shit. And my wife's all it's talking it. about dom dominant and submissive and what a room. <laughs> ah, hey, Chloe, <laughs> men dominate. <laughs> that's right, sure. baby. Where well, that's what we do. That's our job. That's Jeez. What I do. Well, you know, it's like. It's like the, the sandwich has different components to it, you know. It's not just Man. bread and it's not just meat. You put them together and you make something else out of two things that were already there. Still the same thing. Just better. That because, was Yeah, it's just better ingenious. because you got the two pieces working together. And, and all this pit and men against women bullshit is, that's your fucking nonsense. Not mine. I don't play that crap. Women are rule and guys going their own way and all that. What a bunch of horse shit. Fucking monkeys. <laughs> I, I don't even want to associate with people that are that lame. Don't pitch poop. What? What? Is hey, your, your, hey, your gender's not as good as my gender. What a bunch of stupid monkeys. I swear. They're throwing shit at each other on you know with words instead of the actual shit. But it's the same result, you know. Pit us against each other so we'll never <clears> get <throat> to the end together, you know. I had a frayed knot that I liked and never got untied before. <laughs> Are you being funny? <laughs> I'm, yeah. I was trying Chloe to give. Said I was afraid giving not. time. Ah, who cares? It's it's an opinion. So what? Frayed knots, you know, uh, have been done. Well, strings in general, have been discriminated uh, against for a very, very long time. Yes, Rob and works. We are live. I'm just going to type live. it in so you can see it faster. Or, I don't know. I get, all, I get all this radio stuff confused. But, you know, all the personality shit aside, the game is still the game, and you get whipped with the same belt whether you vote, whether you don't vote, whether you're for it, whether you're against it. The fuckers with the guns and the fucking badges are the ones that are going to win. End of story. Yeah, I bet. If you've got those bracelets like Wonder Woman yeah. and uh, or are like Ooh. Superman. Yeah, superheroes, man. you got to fight against that stuff, right? How? Any way you can. How? Name one way that would work. Stand up and be a witness. That's, well, uh, that's, uh, I, 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 that's yeah, what I, I'm doing. I, okay. Me too, but our I'm telling you, our audience is so small. And then on top of it being small, so split mm. into little groups because people think they're different than the other guy. You know, you're different, but so what? On you know, in my reality, I don't care how different you are. That doesn't matter. Me and you are very different. And we're from the same bit of dirt, pretty much. I mean America. Yeah. Oh. You know. And we're friends. About the yeah. time, about the same time in the in the growing up period, I'm only a few years older than you. <clears throat> well, the problem is, is people think that what they think uh, uh, is absolute. Maybe I do. The, I do that myself. I don't know. It, it's Certainly. all a matter how you interpret, and you can't judge other people's interpretation. You think you can? Uh -huh. I think I can. I do it all the time, but it's sure. <laughs> See that. In the long run, it's just my my version of what you said and how I took it could be completely different than what you think you said. Well, see what like Hal says that mm. uh, you know you have to uh, not assume the definition and the meaning of what somebody is saying, but you have to see what it is that they actually mean, how? even though it's in how? Uh, language. Hold on, hey, even though it might come in a language. Listen, a language that you might not understand, right? So I might agree with what you're saying, but not agree in how you're saying it uh, at times, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I mean. Any word <clears throat> at any given time, and it depends on a lot of factors <clears throat> that we're, we're not taught to pay attention to identify these things as important. <clears throat> you know, how you feel 
depends uh, how you hear somebody else talk to you and how you feel will direct that that information to your mind you know if you're not feeling good and you're listening to somebody you don't want to listen to or you don't like them what they say is going to irritate and aggravate you there you go doesn't matter fault. what they fucking say right it's a choice but we're not taught as we're developing how to do any of the shit we do in a proper form that gets you a good result you got to really no. wor- yeah i think I think today with the language we use, we have to work really hard to, to not be at each other's throat. It doesn't flow. It's not even. You know, it's, it's a lot of combat. What somebody says or says about you or anything else, hmm. they are not responsible for how that makes you feel. You oh, are that. No, yeah. Like, yeah. like hate yeah. speech, you know? Sure. Uh, where does that, where, where does censor stop? You know, and the more that's said, <laughs> yeah. the more that's revealed. Now, if let's just go uh, crazy neo Nazis, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let them speak up. Let them tell it all, and eventually people will, would be able to say, like, "Wow, they think not, maybe, huh?" Hmm. I don't let's know. Kill, what, uh, I don't know. Let's what kill, what the other, Jews, other, let's kill the Jews. Let's kill the bankers. Uh, what? Please. Is, they is that, say that shit the all the time. Uh, come on, they say that shit that all the, the time. Way? They yeah, don't. Is that what we want? To live in? No, people throughout history have lived in strife and war. And it ain't pretty, man. It ain't pretty. Well, how can you say it's not what, what they want when they support it? They openly fucking support it. Blindly follow and support it. Without support what? Knowledge. Wars. All this fucking uh, violence everywhere is based because on it's bullshit. Because it's programmed. Right, they show you a TV show, and you think that yeah, you think the towel heads invaded the New York City from a cave in in Afghanistan. I mean, how where do you get people that are lame enough to believe the stupid stories that the media comes up with to in the first place? It's all ridiculous at the end. So if it was ridiculous at the end, it was obviously ridiculous in the beginning. But if you dare to tell anybody that the emperor's not wearing any clothes you end up where we're at <laughs> the dork table <laughs> well sometimes people don't see that he's not wearing any clothes because no uh, you know why his hair because of trans- transparency you see right through it and you don't see actually <laughs> yeah that too but the hair the hair distracts you from looking any further down you go oh my god and that's an i can't take any more <laughs> you know that they got even a new uh a new TV show. Well, it's not a new show, but it's a, a new year of this TV show I was watching called uh, American Horror Story. All right. And this year they went all political. <laughs> and it's about voting and Trump and Hillary and. Uh, oh, yeah. How, yeah. But it's a made up story. It's a made up horror story, but it's based on some of the true shit about politics. And it's so convoluted. You don't when you watch it, you don't know what the fuck they're trying to tell you. You could take it a thousand different ways. One day you watch it, you see it this way. Watch it a week later, you see it a different way. It's. I think. I think this is all made to just keep us more confused and and keep this fueling fueling this machine to keep doing what it does. So, are you ready to play Big Brother now? Always. I don't even know what it is, but shit, yeah. Come and spy on me all you want. I ain't hiding anything. I mean, what kind of stupid shit is that? Please. I guess that would be somebody that doesn't have a life at all. Don't you want to feel safe and secure? Fuck no. No, my wife's the door locker. Me? Shit. I, I'd, I'd come down and talk to the guy. Hey, so you want to rob the house, huh? What are you looking for? <laughs> So yeah. if I don't get killed talking to him. Sit so down. Yeah. Let me make you some tea. Have yeah. a cigar. Yeah. Call 911. Somebody's going to get beat up. We'll see who it is. Uh, but I don't I don't think today that, that I would be on that wavelength to draw. You don't think out. any day, mister. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. I forgot to ask permission again. <laughs> I can I can do what I want, you crazy fucker. What are you, one of those moon landing wackos, too? Yes, I flew on a sparkly pony. Did you Thanks. go to the moon? 
Have you ever been to the moon? Do you now, or have you ever known anybody that has set foot on the moon? (laughs) I would have to have been there to answer that question. (laughs) Well, then I take that as a no, huh? Thanks, Rob. I saw something in the sky that made me even doubt there is a moon. Yeah, we was talking about that. I've yeah. seen some weird stuff. I don't know how to explain it. You know, yeah. when the, the Rubu deal was going about, and, uh, I, you know, I could see that uh, a strange positioning of uh, what appeared to be uh, another sun or something. I don't know how it works. See? And then it goes back I, to all, all this all this uh, indoctrination. We, we we went through it as kids, different times. Maybe. Right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe right. it was some near-miss comet or whatever and or asteroid that, they didn't want to freak people out about, you know, because you can't pan masses. We have to keep the masses calm and placated. Yeah. Oh, open. please. So you, you bomb half the fucking planet every day <laughs> to keep the other, to keep the other half quiet. It's calm. not a secret, Vinny. A lot of people know about the wars. They don't. Yeah. They're, they're catching on. You know how they notice they're, that, that, the world's been at war for like a hundred years since their, their neighborhoods are starting to turn Brown. <laughs> There's the words from Grimmer that I did not call. And, and Just now, come here, boy, have a cigar. And, You're going to go far. And, and now the people, now the white people I, are trying to band together to save the white race. It's, it's amusing to me how it just changes every 20 years from one race to another race. And this 20 years, yeah. I've been oppressed for a long time. You know, people have, oh, yeah, uh, you oppressed, know, what they call yeah. third, third world, certainly. But certainly. the oppression How? extends now to the, the privileged white folks. No. Um, see, everybody is oppressed, you moron. Give me a break. I, didn't I just say that? Did you say that? Oh, I thought I was beating you to it. <laughs> I want to be the smart no. one. Uh, and you know what? Every time I think of Fredo, I keep, I remember when he did Dog Day Afternoon and he was, uh, his name, his real name, and I use his real name, but the the brother in the Godfather that that gets shot for being smart. <laughs> I'm smart, Michael. I'm smart. Anyway, did he Fre- ride a Fredo uh, headless horse? Uh, no, but he got shot in the lake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. Go go. <clears throat> And I think the moral to the story of that was don't try to kill your brother and miss, you know, because he might come back and get you. And that's like, wow, your brother? Wow. I mean, I I could be mad at my brother, but I don't think I could shoot him or have him shot or anything like that. Right That'd aside? Pretty cold. I could think of other people that wouldn't bother me to do that too, but not not my brother. Not like What's Hannah talking like, Oh, I don't know. Cirque's closing the door. She's <laughs> one of the. We got a lot of dogs in this <clears throat> neighborhood, and they all communicate in their dog language. One down the road starts it, and then you know, two doors down, we got this other big dog that barks at Hannah, and then Hannah barks, and the, on it's, the other side, there's fine. a German Shepherd. Hey, they're dogs. Sometimes they do that. that I don't. You know what, you know what they're saying? No, they, they're out know. there. Yeah, like uh, on the school schoolyard. They're uh, they're saying, my master's bigger than your master. Oh yeah, the bully dogs. Cool. Yeah. I don't know, but when when I take Hannah down to for a walk or whatnot, she passes by these dogs, and there's a different bark for different dog. Or some dog she doesn't bark at at all, and it's the same. It's like a pattern. I know which dog she's reacting to by the behavior she gives me. <laughs> uh huh. <coughs> Hey, who knew she was going to be a predictable old dog? But anyway, are you, are you so, smarter than a fifth grade dog? Fuck no. In what the do you? Yard? What do you feel like arguing about tonight? What side of something? You, let's be on opposite. Let's do a show thing, and we'll call it opposite sides. Yeah. So whatever abortion. side you are on, God, abortion, God. Yeah, and whatever uh, side you choose, I'll be on the opposite side of it just to argue with you. Whether I mean it or believe it or not, I just try to, I try to play oh. the other side of it. Okay. We well, we're on. already we're already on opposite sides on those two, I think. Anyway, so uh, we'll start with the easy one. The uh, easy abortion. one. 
Yeah. Oh, abortion. the abortion. Well, abortion is murder. Yes, it Plain is. Ah, I of the it. Now I got to be on the opposite side. Yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know if I can you, play that one because no, <laughs> I really don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not for it. <clears throat> but here's the other side of it. Are you against it? Are you against it? Um, it depends on on the the person involved in the situation. Yeah. But I see. I don't know if I'm. I would say I'm more neutral on all of it. But well, I would never tell. Have to, I don't like to be you told have to, no about. You things. have to take. You have to take the side of neutrality then, which is the uh, same as uh, doing being nothing. The same yeah. as yeah, as being you know you're part of it. Yeah, I, I understand. No matter that. whether it be war, war is death. What do we have that? You know, I told the. Uh, uh, Agent uh, Ryan English in Denver in the courtroom. I said, um, you know, we're we're at this point in time where we're trying to change how we interact. Where you know, death is not how we re- respond uh, in our confrontation. Well, life was cheapened since the nineteen say the nineteen sixties, right? Before medicine was allowed to make a profit. You know, when they weren't no, allowed not- to. I'm made, trying to tell but, you, hey, yeah, shoot, this is my, my, my okay. point. They so. weren't, before a certain time in history in America, the medical system was not allowed to operate the way they operate now for profit. Okay, it was different. They rewrote the laws to fit the crimes that they were going to commit. Well, that's how, you know, the corporation and the, the um, statutes and codes and all that stuff. That's what I'm up. talking about. And once yeah. upon so a time, it, it wasn't legal, okay, to publicly advertise certain parts of medicine. So it didn't didn't bring in a profit. Then they decided to make it a for profit business, and all of a sudden, everything changed. Okay, when I was born, it cost I don't know maybe a a fraction of what it costs to to have somebody born today. And then the debt attached to me was a lot smaller than the debt attached to a newborn now. Yeah. Well, abortion, Rob, abortion was the uh, topic in chat earlier. Well, look at the bad side of being born. They shoot you up full of fucking mercury your first day, your first couple days. You're not even, you don't even have a fucking system yet. And they're already shooting you up full of drugs and crap. I, I don't think I'd want to be born. You know, but you don't have a choice or knowledge of what you're getting into when you are born. So I don't know. It's a weird concept to me. But I being, as, being as I can't do that act alone as far as having a child, I don't really think having an opinion about it stands any. It's just an opinion. It doesn't really matter because I could never do anything about it. It's just what I think about something doesn't really involve me. But society believes it does. If enough people say the same chant enough times, then it's true. But not enough people want to stay the fuck out of a fight they don't belong in in the first place. Well, um, I believe I have a place in the fight. Now, let me ask you this. If, uh, If a woman has a baby... A uh, newborn and goes throws it in the dumpster. Yeah. Um, what's gonna happen to her? Uh, what do you mean? What's gonna happen to her? Yeah. It's already the baby's happened. gonna die. Yeah, but it's already happened. What difference does it make now? If you're that callous that you could do a thing like that, how can you possibly be punished? What could well, you do gonna, to somebody? How, what do you? Well, well, look. I've known violent people my whole life, and I'm telling mm-hmm. you, what do you fucking think you can do to the son of a bitch that is so violent that that person can murder? There's no recourse to that. Killing them back well, doesn't solve anything. Well, they're going to be uh, charged with murder. Big deal. Uh, they that, were brought up beyond, to do. They were well, beyond to do all, it. all the all the what brought her up to doing that, whether she's evil an evil murderer yeah. or so uh you know mentally emotionally uh distraught and broken that uh that's where she ended up uh, Sad, huh? for whatever that reason would be yeah but the case the the point is uh it would be should be brought to criminal charges 
Ah, here we go with the state again. Okay, criminal charges. Yep. All right, now I got different beliefs already that supersede your freaking criminal charges. Well, that is go, go back then to the very uh, idea of uh, um, this uh, as a person, I, a personage, and, yeah. and of uh, free will and uh, the right to, to these God given or natural rights of life. Yeah. Um, they, they, they were not given. Now, I was hearing somebody talk about it that the, uh, the difference between, let's see, um, oh, the protection, the right to life does not begin until uh, it comes out of the mother. Um, a lot of, I don't know, I, it, it's alive. I mean, is it any different when it comes out than what it was five minutes before? But, anyways, yeah. so she'd be charged with murder, but. Yeah. So as this baby is coming out and the head's out, yeah. a doctor can take and stab it in the head with some scissors and kill it. And then it's a partial birth abortion. Oh, yeah. Uh, that kind of sick shit. Yeah. Well, uh, mm -hmm. see, the go all goes back to your, your upbringing and, and your standards in life. What you're willing to what you're willing to tolerate in your society is what you got. A uh, baby is not. That baby is separate, Chloe, separate from that woman's body. I don't That's a separate see, life. I don't see that kind of thing around here at all. In fact, they had a, a Sunday. I tripped into town to go do some late shopping, and I came into the uh, the end of the uh, Iron Man contest they were having in town. Everybody's running through town, and they're all wearing you know, running uniforms, uh, mm -hmm. running gear, and I mean, real heavy into this competition and little kids to old men and old women. It was amazing. <clears throat> and, Excuse me. Yeah. My, uh, my cousins so, have but this, wait, uh, I was, I was, I, was, I brought that on because that's the day I saw so many little kids more in one day than I've seen all together in all the time I've been here. Hmm. Yeah. It brought everybody, every active, clean, non-smoker that lives here was at that running thing. And all the little kids that haven't been disturbed yet. And it was a kick to see them run by and some of them would pick up the pace. Be, they were impressing somebody at the next table. Uh, and yeah, it was pretty wild. And it went. It was pretty big, too. Uh, I don't know how many miles or whatever it was, but. <laughs> oh jeez! And then, of course, I didn't bring the camera because I didn't know, or I would have had some fun shit for the uh, internet world. You ever, uh, you ever looked at a, an abortion video? No, 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 no. That stuff that wouldn't that wouldn't entertain me at all. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't. What would you call if, it? Yeah, it wouldn't if enlighten anybody, me anyway. If anybody uh, has an opinion that it's okay for abortion at any stage. I just challenge you to go ahead and go do a oh, search. Oh, yeah. Go yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. Look and see what it is. Well, it's a matter been of ripping, your indoctrination. Yeah, the fact you're sucking off body parts until they just <laughs> slip it all out of there. Jeez. Yeah, but it's still a matter of your indoctrination. Are you against war? Yeah. And murder and death? I mean, well, that's not part death. of the world we're life, life, life in. Life God, death. Death is, death is the natural... Uh, devolution of uh, of man. We're right. not evolving or devolving, or we would not die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good point. Yeah, I don't believe in the evolution stories that they tell. I think it's. Uh, I heard another guy's version of it and thought that's the way to go. I can't think of his name, but I heard him on uh, Clint Richardson. And I understand why Clint gave up radio, and he. I wish he didn't, because guy's good at doing what we're doing. He's really good at it. He's got a, a great explanation for his stories. They're very entertaining, and it, it, he kept my attention. But Very he want, wordly, he wanted, uh, you know, where words are more like spells and, and have yeah, uh, power yeah, just in the usage. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, he said he wanted to write some books instead of being on the radio. He couldn't do both at the same time couldn't give his attention enough to one thing so he split off from the radio to do the books my attention is very much split at the uh, <laughs> current time of my life no, well it's almost like a waste in a sense but you know we're we're the we're the last of of people that have a clue 
as far as what's real and what ain't in reality. And <clears throat> if your per, if your per, imper, uh, interpretation of society is based on laws and and governments and history, then you're you're bound to be tainted and before all that shit. <clears throat> and if if you're for being responsible for yourself, which is the last thing these fucking <clears throat> politicians want. They will fight you at every right. fucking possible chance because they want to own you. Me. Not, well, let maybe me, not let you. Me but, let me hmm. tell you this. Yeah, you know, a person can uh, ignore a danger in hmm. whatever form it comes in. Oh, yeah. wait. Uh, okay, wait. I, I'll stop right there. It, will it hurt you or help you? Uh, you heard that uh, what doesn't uh, kill you only makes you stronger. Well, except you know, except yeah, for bears, 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 bears will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can ignore that bear? <laughs> I don't think so. So, no. so wait, let me tell a little story here. So, um, uh, Bill Fulton, he uh, he's written a book <sighs> called The yeah. Blood of Patriots. Yeah. Uh, he was undercover FBI on the Schaefer Cox uh, story up there in Alaska. Yeah. So, I got his book and I, I'm in read the first two chapters so far. Uh, th I took that little pitch out uh, there. Um, Going to be setting up an interview with him uh, over on the Ocelli effect with Chuck Ocelli. <clears throat> I think Bill's a little disappointed uh, dragging my feet and taking so long, but uh, with all the uh, this and that so going on over here in the pro uh, computer and the internet. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, uh, that's one thing I, I, you know, I, I think it's, again, what I was saying earlier, it's important to, uh, for people to talk and that re is more of a revealing right mm. you can see more and more about what it's about i would suppose but i'm still saying that it goes to the core of your indoctrination because they pitched it in my day as a woman's right and people yeah. in the fucking states are all stuck on stupid with these fucking rights that the government's going to give them and basically all they are is control measures to keep you stupid. If they would well, teach us... Hey, wait, wait, let me finish a fucking thing for a minute. If they would Shh. just teach us correctly from the fucking beginning without all this misrepresentation and deceit and lies, we wouldn't have to talk about abortions because it wouldn't be a normal thing. It would be a criminal mm -hmm. thing in the first place. There wouldn't be laws to to make it okay with people. It would already be understood. You, this is not something anybody is going to be benefited. They think it. Remember, but you don't know who's going to be born, but because but because they teach us to be a bunch of angry psychopaths as early as possible, so that you'll be for their fucking wars and their violence. That's what you learn. And it okay. makes and it makes an abortion okay with people because of their indoctrination. Okay, remember I said uh, another person is not responsible for what how you feel. True, You're, true, you true. you you yes. you are true, responsible true. for yourself. Absolutely. Okay? Yes. Thank you, sir, for recognizing that. I feel special. So therefore. And being taught or teaching somebody, mm. uh, again, uh, it's the individual's responsibility to, to learn. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, that's that's uh, made more and more difficult, but it's also made uh, a lot more easy in the, day that, in the world that we live in today. Oh, look, yeah, it teaches correctly. That was an LOL. But it's true, because if we were taught through truth and honesty instead of greed and corruption there is no way you could get to these results if you weren't lying about shit this is exactly what the system is is telling you they're going to do to you and you sit there and you either you don't or you do and i'm to the point where fuck them you know and all this abortion shit in the first place if their life wasn't so cheap to people it wouldn't be an issue we're not taught to respect anything. We're just taught to use stuff and, you know, buy this and look good and, you know, say all the right crap so that the, this fucker will buy you a drink and whatever. It's a bunch of <clears throat> horse shit. We're, we're just taught completely wrong. 
and there's no other way to explain it than that. I know how it sounds because I heard another guy when I was in my early 30s. Uh, I used to hear this guy mumble that a lot. He'd be sitting around listening to us other idiots talk, and he'd say, everything you know is bullshit. And I remember getting hot about it at the time and thinking, oh, who the fuck are you to tell me shit like that? You don't even know. And now I know what he was talking about. Because as I've aged, I've learned everything I was ever taught was based on crap. That's not true. So how can you respect or defend all this fiction around you? It, it doesn't serve a purpose except to keep us ignorant and fighting amongst ourselves. Nothing good will come of what we're doing. But they don't tell you that. They lie to us. Oh, this is for the good of the children. Oh, this is for the good of the the um, chicken that lives, you know, in South Africa. It's always a cause and a benefit that doesn't exist. And the truth is, they want us to be as violent and nasty and destructive as possible. That's why there's so uh -huh. many laws. Who's, Laws who's for everything. Huh? Who's responsible, man? I don't know. I thought it was you. Yeah, I'm responsible for myself. Will, will you? No. You, you're not a leader? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's just ridiculous. It's, it says, here, here's the logic of leadership, right? The man in <laughs> at the top of the fucking totem pole is ultimately responsible for every act done by his underlings. And here we got these fucking idiots that they sit in seats of power over millions of people. And these millions of people are a bunch of fucking idiots doing all kinds of stupid, ignorant shit every fucking day. What and you, you know do? what? That, exactly. That's what we've been conditioned to through the media and television. It's so fucking common now. Eh, who cares? Let them do it. Well, I ended up living in a place that's so small, if you buy a new f a brand of toilet paper, it's a chance somebody might notice. Hmm. Yeah, because there's just not a lot of people here. So you're bound to be more uh, concerned about what you do in public life. You know, That's just common sense here. Don't fuck your neighbor. It's a stupid thing to do. You'll end up hurt. It's uh, the postmodern world we live in. It's, uh, you know, anything goes, and it's so prop propagandized and, you know, instilled in to uh, individuals through the media and other means that uh, it's just uh, acceptable. That's why you can have people uh, so degraded, I mm. think, much more today than, than used to be. Mm. Well, what you did down at that bunker thing, as small as you, you know, I know how small it is in the overall scheme, but I'll bet you 10 years from now, that shit's all going to make a big difference. I think it, it so. It usually takes a while for, yeah, well, society is kept so um, distracted with all this other shit that the government can pretty much do whatever it damn well pleases and just lie about it. I mean, look at the Pentagon, what they did. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. You know, you know they're... Uh... They're still trying to uh, bring the Bundys back to, to trial. To trial? No. Yeah, that's, the government is appealing the decision oh, of Barra. Okay. Yeah. But see, let's do the dance. This is That's the foundation of why I've just had, I'm fed up, had enough, can't be bothered. Um, I couldn't possibly fight that monster that I came from and live with my wife at the same time. So the best I can actually do is talk about how I truly see things with people that more or less get it, or and some of them completely, like Grimner and Rob Works, with the three of us, you, Frumpy. Um, number one, <clears throat> he fluctuates back and forth on topics, but, you know, he, he's here all the time. So he's got to know that beyond all the all the, the glitz and the, and the glitter, there's there's a pile of shit there somewhere and somebody's got to clean it up. But who I'm ought to be, who oh, ought to, be possible to clean well, it up? Well, sure. But see, that's what I mean by the indoctrinations that we've all been through. 
they take us to um, different ends. We're looking at the same damn thing, but we're all not seeing the same thing. Because you have a different version of it, I have a different version, etc., etc. I bet Woody would have a different version if we asked him. He had I can only version. imagine. Hey, flip them all. The bird he flipped us off. Rob works. Gave us the bird. Thanks, Thank Rob. You very much. I know. He's, he's an official dork. Yeah. I will name him Dork Works. <laughs> Judge. Tap. I think the only rule that me and you really hold with any regard is that there's no rules. There's the truth and there's your opinion, but what the fuck is a rule? What is a rule supposed to do? Supposed to stop you from doing something, right? What would that possibly be? If you got to abide by the rules, well, depends on what rules were written, doesn't it? Yeah, that that's, depends. That's right? what I mean. But what are rules? What are rules? They're, that, they're measured. Uh, you know, they're measured and they have boundaries. So that? to have rule, uh, it, rules is not a bad thing. It depends on how you use them. Look at the rules with drinking water. The shit that the government does or allows to be done through business that hurts the public is all legal because they wrote it that way so they could do it that way and get away with it. Because whether it's moral or whether it's ethical, hey, fuck that people, is legal. Bring on the lawsuits. We got admiralty court. You'll never beat us. <laughs> You know, and they go, they give some, they give some token bullshit <clears throat> scam or a, a fucking token $5 million here and there to keep the public stupid. And they buy people off and they just continue to do the same damage year in and year out. And if anything, it's gotten worse. Now Bear bought Monsanto out so they can continue to fucking poison the food system with their, um, what was that shit called? Uh, Roundup. And they just relabel it. You know how to, the, one of the best ways to avoid or to win uh, anything is to, to avoid it. You know, if, if you're looking at a, a right. defeat or a beating right. or being locked up. Um, mm. seek well, the, I may avoid way. it, but it's still, they sell it in the freaking stores because it's legal. And they, and just like in America, they don't tell the truth to the public or people hear the truth and don't believe the truth and think it's just trying to get them to not do what they want to do that's good for everybody so you can't really win this it's 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 rigged from the gate because you break yeah. the law you break the law first not pick, after pick, the fact pick your, so, pick your bio, uh, battles i can't I, i'm against everything except um circle <laughs> and chocolate cookies <laughs> And what about Hannah? Is she chopped liver? Yeah, the dog comes with the with the circ. Everything that's connected to circ is all kind of inclusive. Where one goes, they all go. It's just like the story with the cat, because I I think I'm deep down I'm a cat lover. I am not positive, but mm. I have a feeling. You know, because when I get around this damn cat, he comes in to eat and whatnot. He'll gets on the stairs and does the clawing on the carpet and purring and all that. And I'm not a nice guy. You know that, right? But this cat, because I feed him, you know, he thinks I'm like, hey, I'll let you live, bitch. <laughs> do, you, do you know why cats do that? Their behavior and uh, even their language, it is adapted to uh, communicate with uh, humans. Yeah, they're, they're doing in a calming mode. They're, they're either calming themselves or they're trying to calm you, one or the other. Hey. They both, actually have yeah. language that, uh, yeah. in case of feral wildcats, uh, that they don't use amongst each other. It's wow. their, their communication to humans. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, I've I've grown to believe that because this cat yeah. lived here, and the people that you know belonged to the cat, <clears throat> they left and took the cat, and the cat came back to the house. And uh -huh. then they said, "Hey, can you keep the cat?" And we went, "Oh, sure. What's it? What's another animal? We had the dog." Yeah. So the dog met the cat and everything was cool. 
They, right they, on. they grew up. Yeah, Hannah grew up with the cat. And she's such a bully over food. You know how dogs can be. Scares Cirque a little bit sometimes because she growls and the cat plays games. But I've tried to tell her if that cat ever gets really threatened by Hannah, she'll scratch him or she'll he'll scratch her. And it's never come to that. The cat always, he runs off. I have uh, wild uh, squirrels for pets. Yeah, you mentioned that. That's pretty mm-hmm. cool. And it kind of suits outside your... and they just look at me. They're not like scared or nothing. It suits your personality too. Cause you're kind of squirrely. Yeah. Anyway, so I wanted to I wanted to say this about the abortion thing <clears> though. Uh, if if we weren't um, raised to believe the things that we were taught, the way we were taught them, that turn out to be debatable in the end. If there would have been written a black and white that you grew up with, like a religious fanatic, you know. That no matter how you slice this cake, you don't do this. Well, but it only, it's like society only applies certain things to certain cultures, cultures, you know what I mean? Like the Jew people thing. Yeah, you know, the, being one of them <clears throat> through the whatever it is. You're not a real I, Jew. Well, see, there you go. What is, it's a just another fucking identifying word for something that you were misled about the people that are in control fuck if they're jews or not doesn't matter but if you pay all your attention to that shit it's easier to con you about other shit where what bit of dirt what last name you hold all this title shit and government it's it's a crock it'd be a lot easier if you would just close the curtain pay no attention yeah yeah walk away but but still, here we are on the radio trying to trying to get a few more people aware that the fa- fractional reserve banking is it's wrong. <laughs> we we don't have gold. We don't have value. Everything is on credit. You're living in debt, and you're willing to participate in this because you've been beaten down to submissive. You don't know you how much power you have. Well, I'll tell you this, the most common answer you'd get if you uh, try to tell somebody that this is worthless paper, Mm. they're going to say, well, just give me all you got then. Yeah, well, there you go. Whatever. You can't buy anything with it. So what the fuck matter does it make? It's worthless crap. It doesn't doesn't accomplish nothing. The shit that we buy is all second rate garbage. It's all manufactured from second-rate manufactured components. They're, they don't do anything correctly. It's all done to make money. Profit, 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 profit. And this public that we're sucked up into, however we are, they all, they've all been brainwashed into believing that the billionaire is the guy that's cool. And I think the billionaire should fucking kiss my ass he ain't no better than me because what he's got a name fuck you your name says you own this name. much paper so you're <laughs> more important fuck all that shit that's the problem that we have not that's not the solution at all the solution would be a better way of behaving amongst our own you know you can only come one at a time one person at a time and they they all either choose to uh you know seek for truth or or not what because truth is absolute well how and can it have so many it faces? is it's subject it is subjective ah, okay. sub- by the individual yeah well then there you're agreeing with my premise then it's uh, a lot of how you were brought up to see things makes you see them the way you see them it's Had a, I been a, brought up with religion and and politics, I would see them. I was told if you want to believe this shit, you can. If you don't, ignore it. Do what you want. It's your business. Have a banana. Well, that was, I think, my parents' way because in their own way and the way they lived, looking back at it, I see they didn't take this any more seriously than I do. They just knew how to play the game so they could stay together. Does that make it a bad thing or? I don't know. Bad or good. It's just the 
how I see the results mm-hmm. of what, what they did for their 50 years. You know, before they went, they they had a whole life together. And they went to every place they ever wanted to go to, they went to it and visited or moved in and stayed for a couple of years at the end. Mm-hmm. And, and at the very end, they ended up in Scotland. But they, they started out when they returned in the 80s. They went back to London for years. And then, then they moved to Wales and then eventually to Scotland. So they were there for a, how long? Till My dad was there until 11 and my mom was there until 14. Or not 14, and this year, 17, 17 18. So 18 what, this them, year. Uh, so what made them want to live in different countries? No, no, they were together. They just didn't want to live in the States anymore. No, they I, left, I know they that. left America in 82. They together living in other, other countries. I I don't know. They that was what they did. I never questioned, you know, I never questioned why people go places. And how um, old was you when they left uh, the states? 22. Hmm. Did and you then feel when a I was Huh? No, no, feel- fuck no. I'd been living on my own for years by then. And besides that, for the 10 years before that, I was trying to live on my own. They wouldn't let me. <laughs> so I was good with, you know, people going off and nah, it was like, hey, if that's what you're going to do. But the part that I didn't expect is we had a, a separation for, I don't know, about five years I was missing. And uh, I get a call from one of my friends that I grew up with that says I needed to They'd found me through DMV when I still had a driver's license in. Really? And then, yeah, well, she had, this friend of mine was sneaky, knew a lot of stuff. So she got a hold of DMV and through the DMV figured out what city I was in and got the phone number of the place where I was registered as staying through the Department of Motor Vehicles. So she says, you need to call your mom. Your mom thinks you're dead. Hmm. She's going to freak the fuck out when she finds out you're not because you've been you know, laying <clears throat> low for all these years. Excuse me. So I did. I, uh, and, my mom thought I was dead. I went on the run. I disappeared for uh, um, just over four years back uh, in the yeah, 80s. Yeah, I wasn't on the run or anything. I just. I was. I, was I didn't care. Felon. Oh, you're up. Yeah, but we've talked about your bad guy days. Yeah. I wasn't trying to compete with you, sir. You're more of a bad guy than I'll ever be. Well, I, it. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't get a driver's license though. So, yeah, I did that. Find me. I did that until '86. I think was the last time I did it because I wanted to. <laughs> I had this job I wanted to get as an airport shuttle driver, and my license had lapsed. So, for me to get the job, I had to get another license, and I did. I went, hey, okay, I'll do it for this. And it was commerce, so you kind of, yeah. It justified it in the first place, and it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that job. I got arrested once while I was on the run, too, with no ID uh, for a fight. And uh, so they're like, you don't have a driver's license? Nope. How come? <laughs> Never had a car. <laughs> yeah, well, my thing was I had a passport. I learned that when I went to England in uh, 89, right? I was Till I was about 27, I had no clue or interest that I was ever going to leave America. I figured I was just going to, because I liked the States. That was my home. That was what I was comfortable. I could go to any part of the United States and survive just fine. And I had thought, oh, this is going to be great. Then my folks end up in London and uh, in, invite me over. They said, hey, we'll send you a ticket. and you, you know, you can come over and visit for a couple months and have a break. I went. Okay, <laughs> so I did. Ever go back? Oh yeah, I've been. I went back. Uh, let's see. I went in eighty nine. I went ninety one, ninety six, and then I went a fourth time in uh, twenty eleven to Scotland. Eighty nine. I... Yeah, I didn't visit him in Wales. So in eighty nine, I went to prison, and ninety one, I got out. Whoa, that's because you are an ultra bad guy. No, uh, uh, people people make dumb mistakes and don't pay attention to their surroundings. 
That's the only other excuse. You you were just careless and stupid, or you're just a bad guy, one or the other. Wow. Yeah, I I was 15 for the when I did the crime. Ah, Don't even know what hole you're peeing out of at 15, please. Yeah, that's what I mean about all the things we're taught. We're taught wrong because I believe myself from my personal experience every fucking value that i needed to know i knew by the time i was 12 years old you know now after 12 it was experiencing you know some events hadn't happened because i wasn't old enough yet but the information i needed to have a comfortable life was all given to me but it was not clear at the time they did it. So it was like a, um, I don't know, like a word game when I look back on it. I had a lot of older cousins that would, you know, make comments about how things were, and I didn't understand them because of the four, five, six, seven year age difference. But when I look back now, I go, wow, they were telling me everything I needed to know. And here I sit, and of course. You know, being comfortable, I I don't know if that's relative to politics or your lack of politics or anything that of that nature, but I do see it as an obstacle to commerce. You know, we cl- don't have a free market. We've got these intrusive thieves that want the top, you know, they want the, the lion's share of your fucking work and everybody that works for you. It's insane. And then whatever's huge, these big companies, these big guys that golf for a living, that they want to they want to claim the lion's share because they work so hard <laughs> doing nothing. What the fuck are they doing? Selling a bunch of second-rate crap to a bunch of people that don't have a clue. Think of the shoes, man. Well, what shoes? Uh, I think Nike, some kind of boycott crap going on. Really? Yeah. Why? Like, why now? What would it matter? Uh, they made it. I have no idea. I really don't pay any attention to that stuff. Well, you just brought it up, you dork. How could you not pay attention and bring it up at the same time? It was, it was right in front of my face. On the... oh, I thought maybe it was your superpower. No. <laughs> I'm contradiction, man. I can both love you and despise you simultaneously. Go on, Isn't try it. One, I'll show you. Wonderful thing. <laughs> wow. What's in the RLM chat? Let's see what's uh, going on I'm here. away from the chat. I'm making the... I'm going to uh, bore me. I know you're making all kinds of noise of Stalin. There you yeah. go, dorks. Superheroes, says Grim. He puts up a picture. Let's see what this bastard is. Hmm. Oh, voluntarists says... The state is that organization in society which attempts to maintain a monopoly of the use of force and violence in a given territorial area. In particular, it is the only organization in society that obtains its revenue not by voluntary contribution or payment for services rendered, but by coercion. Murray N. Rothbard voluntarianist yeah that's pretty good shit sums it all up no i think that grimner guy's on to something you think so i would have a sneaking suspicion he's not even a trump lover Hmm. i'll bet you that he's not even a trump hater i bet he's like could give two flying fucks about any of this shit (laughs) that's what i think well i'm not if I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm prejudiced against uh, orange people. Well, you know, your your opinion but, is going to be judged if you say it but, out loud. Somebody's going to get their feelings hurt. Hey, 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 Bone Daddy. You know what I'm not saying? Not a ah, 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 ah. You know what I'm saying? Ha, nah, ha. <laughs> if not you sure. talk out loud, I, you're going to piss somebody off. I have spoken. <laughs> but if you think it, then you can only go insane by yourself. <laughs> so we got radio. <laughs> so we can take other people crazy with us. See? You got you a ticket not, to ride. You are not alone. 
There are many like you scattered throughout the world and stuff. What do you think? I don't know. I'm having to make coffee over here. You're boring me to sleep, man. Hey, fuck you. You know what? The guy that sells me dog food today is Turkish. He's from Turkey. And You're... in inside of buying a bag of dog food and a couple of treats, I learned that he's going home for a vacation in a few weeks. And then he found it necessary to tell me in 15 years he's going to retire and go home to Turkey. And he's the nicest fucking guy ever. I've not, I can't imagine anybody ever being mad at this guy. He's always, every time I go there, he's nice, no matter what the circumstances are. And he's always making me deals on the on the stuff that I buy for the dog. Ah, I gave you a good deal. What do you want? <laughs> so I don't I don't get any of this the the state thing, and I see it in him, and in a way, and in a way, all I see is some happy guy selling me dog food. <laughs> okay, I'm back in chat. Hey, Chloe. Mm. No, I'm uh, making some coffee. Making a sandwich. He can't. You can't do radio. Cowboy. Yeah, eat. Can you? Yeah, I no, I ate a banana earlier, Maybe and then uh, now I'm gonna make you? some coffee. Yeah. Oh, I give you a coffee break. Vinny is always doing some kind of loud shit while on the air. I know. I feel like I'd a beat on the keyboard or something. Just so. Yeah, you you're the most. Nerd. You're like a high-strung racehorse. That's what you're like. The prancing pony. Vinny the pony. Hey. You know, okay, where where is this fictional uh, place, the Prancing Pony? Oh, that's in um, Lord of the Rings Online. Yeah. Because that's the game that I play. My wife, she plays the lore, or the uh, wow, I play the lore. The lore, the wow. Yeah. Me and Sir are so play these, opposite. Fuck. I, I got okay. friends that play these video games, and I just won't play them. Well, then don't. What for? If you don't like it, don't do it. It's not no, for everybody. I, just, I mean, yeah. just like anything, if you don't like something, so you don't like it, you know, what the fuck? Well, Other people are going to judge you. You know what my my wife does? I'll judge she, you. She gets me on music, and I'm an old, old soul to her, right? And I know what I know. And she likes <laughs> the stuff that came along well after I gave up on and then on the system producing anything else that I wanted to actually listen to. Really not <laughs> No, no, no. There's very something. very little. Nah, I even heard Eric Clapton's last bit and I went, Wow, he should just stop. He he lost his voice. He still plays like he's just incredible with that guitar. But he he's lost his voice. He's an old man. He should he should retire and enjoy life, but he enjoys singing and playing his guitar. That's what he knows. So you take the good with the bad, you know. Things de uh they decay. So this audio is not bad. No, you sound very good. I'm very jealous. You sound better than me. Uh, usually uh, I got that cool voice, and you sound like some kind of redneck that's talking out of his ass. Making banging sounds like the chimpanzee. <laughs> want to fight about that? Come on, I'll boy. Just, i take wait, you wait on any time. Wait a minute. I, yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll take a minute to catch up to uh, chat, but... <laughs> Uh, here's my response to that, Mister. Mm. That is my superpower. That's his superpower Hello. because Vinny Hello. is going to save Hello. the children one abortion at a time. Believe so, in the power you know, of the poop. And then you, you go back to all that abortion crap, and and how do you Thank judge? You, Chloe. Hello. But how do you judge in the first place? And Bailey. This is baseball. this is my problem with it. How do you judge what other people do that you yourself cannot <clears throat> do? It it starts just this circle of doubt. Must not Listen, be right first, at all in the first, first of place. All, first of all, you don't what? have any right to ask me that question because I can fly <laughs> <laughs> and you can't, buddy. So, boom. What? What now? Well, how did I Hold get on. from... You're talking about that, from... Mike. I'm facing the drop it. What? I got from London to... To Copenhagen. <coughs> it's not boiling yet. Hey, you you're making. Like, how did oh, I get I, here yeah, then? If oh, I didn't fly, you called you me a liar, phone. boy. You uh, were flown. You did not fly. Oh, I was. F 
flown. <laughs> See that? True. Well, well I better. don't. I don't even fucking know if I was even flown, but <laughs> that's what they say. How do you know? <laughs> you just either you believe the story you're told verbatim or you don't and if you doubt the story that you're told then somebody's going to get you know when you get up in an airplane out. yeah it's pretty obvious that uh, you're not on the ground well, at the end what if, of the runway. okay and, and then then you have people that see the world in their own particular special little way they maybe they don't see they're in the sky Maybe they don't feel the plane lift and drop. You know, how do you know what other people do or do not understand or feel? Because we're told this shit through the fucking no. media. What other There's, people it, think it's and actually, feel? It's is, actually inbuilt in it within us. Uh, empathy, in this case, uh, you know, we have a conscience and um, it, it can be scarred and, and uh, can be hardened, but. Uh, the absolute of right and wrong is within us, each and every one of us, unless there's some damage that's, uh, you know, prevented the I, natural yeah, or profession. Yeah, and I seriously, I have my doubts about all that. People know. I've never met in my lifetime, I've never met anybody that was conscious, <laughs> that conscious, that didn't have the uh, a wherewithal of right and wrong. They knew if they were doing something wrong. Absolutely. Even it's the little just children. Matter if it's acceptable or not. All right, but you can cheapen, you can cheapen bad things by making them common and acceptable. And you can make things that should be done and are good for you criminal with a good story, <laughs> like weed, or like cannabis, for or like hemp to make fucking rope, so they could use all these synthetics and make people. I don't know, powerful in this illusionary world of global monetary schemes. It's so obviously a fucking scam, but everybody that's in it is in it, and they can't not be in it, or what would they do? They'd have to grow their own fucking tomatoes and shit. What I kind of life heard would that be? your dog at your stash, man, and you was, like, taking forever to dig it out, and then you called it <laughs> cannabis, man. <laughs> No, Han <laughs> that's a Hannibal good weed, dude. It's cannabis, no, man. No, me and Cirque are are very good doggy parents. We keep the hashish away from the dog. <clears throat> it wouldn't hurt her, I reckon. No, a lot well, of no, dogs. it would hurt us if the dog I had, used it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't eat her dog food, so me and her have a deal. I stay out of your box, you stay out of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Me and I hope you listen. Just fine. I, what? I hope you have the same deal going with the cat, and you're not in their litter box eating them little uh, tootsie pops. No, not tootsie, tootsie rolls. Yeah. No, we we keep the dog and the cat. Um, we keep the dog separate from all that, so she can't. No, I was talking about those. Too. Fuck you and your ear. I well, know you, Hannah have, got better. Have, have you <laughs> been stroking uh -oh. Hansel again? You. Anyway, uh -oh. don't go all Hansel on me, man. I'll get I'll get hurt and and complain about it. What are you gonna do? Well, I just did. I told you I was gonna get hurt and complain about it, man. What do you What do you expect me to do about it? I don't. Really, sadly, I don't really care what you say most of the time. Cry, cry, cry. Only when you agree with me do I listen to what you say. That's the way I am. I'm Jewish. I agree with that. It. There you go. <laughs> As you should, and my trusty dog at my side, As I am should, and so the shall. king. Hey, man, it's good to be the king. You know, you're the king of where you are, right? Yeah, with no clothes on and all. Well, we could all probably been spared that little bit of information, but yeah, you're you're the king, the naked king of what? The King what with name no are you under now? Wow, well, but you got some I, uh, names. Captain Viniverse. So it's your own kingdom, and you're you're the master of you. I is exact. That is exactly right. I okay. am a king without subjects. You th yeah. Do you think that? See, there hold are on. Stop. Stop a minute. I got. Hold on. I got to stop right there with the disclaimer. I'm not a sovereign citizen. Oxford. Oh, no, no, no. Oxymoron, uh, man. 
You can't yeah. be a sovereign citizen. Who'd want to be a citizen? Once you learn what the word means, why would you, or what government means, why would you want anything to do with it? You know, I, I want to see it abandoned. There's, so that there's a, uh, well, we it, it can, can never, to the, it can never be the, because of human nature. That's, that's a, that's an unrealistic hope. Well, um, if they're the, the best followers, hope is to exist oh, yeah. in the time that we're in and uh, to work around and through, which which opposes us and seek to uh, make right uh, the wrongs that we find, and that goes and, in all all aspects of life. And Grimner poses the query: Isn't Sears bankrupt? <laughs> I believe America's bankrupt. I believe that there's been nobody has been anything but bankrupt for at least since the 30s but they took over the they took it over in in uh 1913 legally and then it took them another 20 years to really put the screws to the people and figure out new ways to chain them slap those chains on us and with our implied consent sometimes just through bold-faced bullshit stories and lies here comes the bubbles. Uh, you know, some people think that the depression wasn't a decision made by bankers. It was an inside job. Right. And there's still millions and millions of people that will not listen to that. They don't want to hear how just how deceitful and corrupt the government that they su support truly is. And it was the tilting point. I'm I'm getting to the point where... I don't even want to be American anymore. I don't know how to not be American because of this fucking voice. <laughs> well, I can tell you, if you don't want to be a Jew anymore, cut your nose off. Oh, I can't do that. Then where were the little children hide from the sun? Come on. That's me. Uh, you have a when big... Ducks... I don't, you don't have a big Jew nose, do you? Oh, yeah. It's like a, like a sausage. I haven't, never, I haven't looked at your face in a while. <laughs> God. I, I hope not. I hope you don't have a copy of my face on a you know, on your nightstand or anything, you freak. Wow. Send the but you know, you know what I would I would love to see happen in life. Uh. No. I got a great idea for a show. It's mm -hmm. called B Balls to the Floor, starring Grimner, Vince Easley, and Hansel. I do it. I would hope you would do it. I bet Grimner would do it too. I don't even want. I'm not even inviting myself. I'm. I'm just. I'm all about just the 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 reality of it never happening is kind of depressing. But it's a it's a wonderful dream, like democracy <laughs> or anarchism or any form of group what what people believe is a group is bad for you That's what I, think. I can't prove it but i can say it <laughs> i know dogs can't contain themselves over a new toy i can't contain myself over a new toy either java doctor i don't get as crazy as the dog but i probably inside my, I'm wagging my tail, you know. Depends on the to on on the gift. Hey, Java. Because my wife has been known to make me a cup of coffee. That is, it's probably as close to I would murder for that cup of coffee as anything in in life. You know, defend to keep my coffee. I would do that. <laughs> I don't if use that, a coffee yeah. maker. I blow mine. Uh, yeah, but yeah. you're you're Cowboy a coffee. you're a tough red yeah you're a tough redneck old guy she's a young woman well not young young but she's eh, not old <laughs> not compared to us she's still a baby uh, i tease her about that sometimes because in day-to-day -day life i don't recognize any age difference or any of that you know it it only mm. it only comes up when i think about the paperwork you know or the state or whatever the fuck that is, but just regular dealing with her or dealing with you. I don't think about people's ages. Uh, I don't think I, I really consider anything past gender. At this no. time, I'd like to announce uh, 
mission accomplished. Yeah. You went Cow to the moon? Cow Cowboy Coffee is a success. And Are you on the moon? No. Oh, damn. Will somebody go to the fucking moon? I've been waiting. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Miss Kate. We got to put you through our our little whatever. What do you call what we do anyway? Banter session, because we don't. I don't know. We kind of agreed on the uh, abortion thing. That was kind of harsh. I couldn't go against. I you don't on think. That one. I don't think we. I don't think you agreed with me. Well, I think it's wrong. I didn't at, agree with at, you. At some level of uh, of it, it's wrong. Period. In totality. But, but see, according to indoctrination, you can make it, you can make it right, and put judgments on it that I don't know who's who's. Thank you, Kate. Uh, then you go against moral codes and religious upbringing and education. It's too much. We we can't all possibly agree, given all the different ways to see it. No, it's it's a fight. It's a fight we're supposed to have. Is what I think. And it's mm. built into the system so that we'll be fighting about stuff like that. Not that it's not important, but that it's it's a distraction from what is truly important for all of us. Is not Abortion doesn't affect everybody the way you would expect it does. It, well, I, that it I does. would say it is that uh, we be, uh, bring ridiculous and... Uh, yeah, yeah um, pretty much. Yeah, but we'll no. accept anything if the majority goes it's along with it. We'll go along with it. If they not said any. you, if they not. said you had to wear a pink shirt in, in the city on Wednesday, or I you would, go to jail, I would I would venture to guess that, that people would I not would, be wanting to go to jail. I would go on purpose without a pink shirt. That's because that's you're a rebel a, without a clause. No, that's not just you. There's a there's a lot of guys like you. A lot of women like you too. I'm not one of them, but I would avoid it instead of playing in it. But I wouldn't do it. And then forced to, then I'd be going to jail. You know, That's the way I'd, I would deal with something. Stay as far away from that shit as possible, and if you get sucked into it, stand your fucking ground. If you're not wrong, no harm will come. You know, you know if you... If, if I look at found, it like... It found my, Jesus... Well, you can find Jesus if you want to. I can no, announce uh, Jesus no, if no. I want they, to. They they found it in in Kennesaw State. At least the man speaking for uh, claimed to be Jesus. I met this guy. Oh, that I didn't see that. Okay, I see way that. back when <laughs> I gave him a ride and, and went up to uh, Sequoia National Park. Yeah. And uh, on the trip up, before we headed up the mountain, uh, he's like, "I've got many names," and uh, he says, "I've got one I may tell you." And I knew exactly what he was going to say at that point in time. But I waited. And, uh, sometime later, we're up there in the uh, the redwoods, the sequoia trees. And he says, uh, what if I was to tell you I was Jesus? Elixir. I laughed. I laughed right at him. Why? Because he's not Jesus. Well, what if he's delusional and he really believes he is? How do you know he doesn't believe he is? And if he does, what harm is he doing? It doesn't matter, doesn't matter if he believes it or not. Hey, they didn't harm yeah. me now. Right. I That's what I'm, but, eh, was okay. Because I, I knew what he was going to say before he said it. How did you know? You did. How do you mean you knew it? Did, I, I, had really the, describe I had the clue when, you know, he says, I might tell you. So, yeah, that's just exactly what I expected. I didn't notice, Man. but. So I didn't. I didn't judge him for being a nutter, but uh, and hey, man, I had a good time. I'd never been up there in Sequoia, well, so I went. But if you're couple religious, but if you're a religious person, how do you know that ain't Jesus? Because he's standing on the ground. Well, okay, but I don't understand enough about religion to understand that you believe it in the first place. I'm just saying, <laughs> if somebody tells me that their name is blah blah blah. What the fuck do I care whether they're telling the truth or lying to me? Well, what difference does it make in the first place? Who cares? Whoop, whoop. You better so, understand but, his nature and his but, motives and, and well, uh, what, what the possible uh, uh, outcomes could be in the encounter, just like anything else. 
Oh, you don't get those eerie feelings from people right away that they're they're the kind that will do you harm if they get I'm an very, opportunity. Yeah, I read people very well. Yeah. So, and, and, yeah. and I've kind of had that ability, but I also have owned it too. And, you know, studying uh, uh, micro expressions in body language and, and how uh, words are used and, and words are used as a setup. And Hal explains all that real good. He shows how uh, the setup for the takedown comes uh, in the language being used and the, the notice that we're given. So in the same fashion, you know, uh, individuals give you notice um, by those uh, characteristics. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I agree. I think there's tells in everybody's behavior in more ways than just words. I can look at people sometimes and and know whether they're going to you know, look away because oh, that is a weirdo or if they're going to grin at me and say, hey, you know, and I've gotten pretty good at it. I'm very rarely wrong. I was wrong Sunday. I got kind of, uh, not butt hurt, but the situation was strange. Here, let me tell you what happened. They they had that Sunday race, and all these people are racing. And I don't really know what's going on. So I, I hear the guys at the next table, and they're speaking in English. And I get what the insult from me was now that I didn't when I said it. And I said out loud to them, uh, it was strange to sit here. I sat there for 15 minutes before I said anything, too. So they didn't know I was listening because they were speaking in English. And not everybody is f as fluent at English as they these three guys were. And so I they said were to speaking them, in English so that uh, the Dutch wouldn't understand? No, it's Danish. And not so they wouldn't yeah, understand. It, no, it was the only common language. One of the guys didn't speak Danish, but he spoke English. And I, two of them were Danes. One of them was something else. And so they were all speaking English as a common language. And I, uh, when I said that, I didn't really understand. Wow, that was kind of a slap in the face. I didn't mean it like that. It was just strange because I've been here so long to hear it. But they don't know I've been here for years. They think I'm a fucking tourist. And I didn't realize until, oh, wow. It took me a couple of days to think that one through. I'm a domestic tourist. Yeah, but I'm dealing with foreign language and people from other countries all the time. Like today, it was the Turk that runs the dog food store. And I didn't know he was Turkish. I kept hearing Danish from him. He speaks good Danish. And he's a friendly fucking guy and all this other shit. But just by looking at him, I <coughs> couldn't tell. I, could, I don't know enough about the Danes to know that the Danes <coughs> know <it's> not Danish. <coughs> oh, yum. So you know, it's like the, the old Hillary. Jew that knows I'm a Jew. That kind channeling, of thing. Channeling Hillary. Uh -oh, Hashtag one. that. What do you want Hillary for? Quit, quit stirring your coffee and look at the chat. Flash somebody, Chandlerlin, Hillary. What difference at this point? Oh, that. Yeah. Well, see that. That's what I mean by it goes to your indoctrination. To me, how I react to a situation that doesn't involve me only requires an opinion. Well, that's touchy subjects and shit <clears throat> people you're always going to piss somebody off with what you say no matter what you say so i've come up to the decision that it's just part of the the baiting so that we're constantly at our at, at each other's throat about something not that it's not important not that it doesn't deserve debate it's just the goal of it is to cause problems not to solve anything there's a wonder talker well Think about it. I mean, if there's like a hundred guys on the planet got, you know, two trillion dollars amongst themselves, and then you got seven billion people that are, you know, are going, or not seven, billion, but you got three and a half billion people that don't have a pot to piss in, doesn't that seem a little unbalanced to just anybody normal? Or, no, we've been raised to believe that for some fucking reason, these particular people deserve to dominate the population through supplies and resources. And I tr I've i grown up to believe it's a bunch of nonsense. We okay. should find a much, a much more uh, honest way to do these things. We wouldn't be in the shit we're in in the first place. All right. Stand by. We have a, we have a request and then a question. Uh, for you. you need to uh, follow uh, up. 
so uh, Wana Taco uh, is to channel her, Hillary. So I guess we Uh-oh. can see. Holy, holy Hillary, transparent and trustworthy. What difference does it make now? She does nothing wrong ever at all. She's so great, and I love them cankles of hers. You didn't play the harmonica with me. No, I wasn't going to. I was reading the chat because I, I didn't answer a question. Shut up and answer the question, then. I don't know. I, you I don't, don't want to protest. You don't want to be a team player, man. <laughs> no, actually, I, I really don't. True. I don't mind uh, one-on-one, but, boy, teams, please. Yeah, except in Pinochle, because that's kind of a different thing. And it's, uh, you got one partner. I like I, the one partner part. I paid it. I paid it my brother's eye one time. And he kind of rubbed, but, rubbed it out with his knuckle. Like, well, I guess that was P-knuckle. We was but I'm going to state that the Flashco mentality is three's a crowd, motherfucker. Move on down, son. Ain't enough room for you two. So is that what but, you told these three boys there when you were talking to him? No, but I think You I said kick rocks. Oh, w- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what did I, I? What I said to them was... I guess I didn't explain it correctly, is that it was strange to hear English as a common <clears throat> language at, in, where we're sitting in you know, Denmark. And I forget, these guys don't know I live here. I've never seen them before, so they think I'm a, just a tourist coming through, you know, shooting my mouth off at a, at a public bar. <laughs> so yeah. if you was to go visit somewhere, being you're living there now, would yeah. you call it a holiday or a vacation? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, me and Cirque are we're, this is it. So if I go anywhere with her to, yeah, it would be a vacation from this. But I don't want a vacation from this. You wouldn't call it a holiday. You're yeah, I would, but I would. I'd be yeah, but I'd go reluctantly because I don't really want to do that. I want. I but, like this. But nonetheless, whether you do or don't, would or would not, would you yeah. call it a vacation oh, yeah, or a, a holiday? Yeah, I'd call it a vacation or a holiday, yeah. <laughs> See, you just refuse to assimilate into the society that you have inserted yourself. Now, I want yeah, you to think about that, mister. And I know. Learn- it's, why, it's why I'm so popular on the Internet. Yeah. Because and I learn do how to everything speak I'm told to do and only a couple of things I'm told not to. Go, go in Danish, too. Learn Dutch, though. That way that can be your destination. Well, Dutch is in um, the Netherlands where Walter's at, and here yeah. is Danish. Yeah, that's and right. just a few miles from that is. But I, I would, I would appreciate you not referring to Holland as the Netherlands. I well, know, what's but up it with is that, anyways? Who, who did that? Uh, Why? I really <laughs> don't know, but Holland goes back to the World War II as far as being corrupt. They had a prince in, in power in uh, World War II that sold out the Dutch people. So whatever came out, out of that, it's probably UN and all this EU shit, all these people. But then, well, your governments, that's what these fuckers do is they sell the population out for you know personal wealth so they can you know eat good and live good while the people that they're representing don't. <laughs> Okay, let, sad, let, sad let me let, let me throw a tether on you here just for a minute. Now, oh, you said I, I'm sorry, them, Kate, Hold on. I I you said to that. them, and they said to you, and you said to them. That order. Start in a straight line. Oh, Go. I started out, and I had been sitting there just listening because I was watching the runners. I didn't see any reason it to interrupt their talking. Okay, we heard and that part. What did you after say? After about... 15 minutes i said it's very strange to hear english as a common language okay at, and then at, at the bar here uh-huh and then they said back to you nothing it got nothing quiet. zeros it nothing and what it, it took me uh, yeah i understood how they took what i said when i thought it through because Why? i was what did, i'm the, what? i'm the alien i'm the visitor there they don't know i live in denmark they i'm an american they hear an american voice be an authoritarian in their home and they hey who the fuck do you think you are <laughs> i thought you didn't want to be an american no more <laughs> it's the voice doesn't help nobody will ever see me as anything but an american or maybe learn, a canadian if they don't learn know 
you know, learn to speak Danish and practice. I don't want to. Try to try to say a word like a Dane would say it, and you know, accent. I, I've tried it. I don't try. Have a Dane. Go ahead. No. One word. You, How do you say hello? You try. How, oh wow! How do you say hi? No, wait. You say bye by saying hi. That's goodbye. <laughs> hi, hi means goodbye. It, I it just goodbye. throws me. Goodbye, so goodbye. I've been listening. Yeah, for four years I've been listening to it backwards, and my mind will never catch up that. I always got to catch and slow down and go, oh, yeah, that's goodbye. That extra second. Oh, Cirque says one high is hello. Two highs is goodbye, right? What? Yeah. Hello, hello? Is that like and, and, uh, and instead oi, of, oi. Instead of an S for a plural like we use, how do you guys do the plural? E-S-E-R. See, they add E-R. To make a plural. So, so just like you'd say, it, good goodbye, good buyer. See, but no, they'd say it in Danish, and it, it would just have an er at the. How do you even pronounce the er here? Is beyond me. Balloon, balloon. <laughs> do it again. Be quiet. Let me listen. Tell her say hello. Bal- no, she said balloon ballooner. <laughs> She's really? being a smart. Yeah, well, tell her, she's tell like. Her to, wait, she's ask, shy. She won't. Listen, she won't jump on the radio. This in the background's fine, but you'd be quiet while she does it. Ask her to say hello and then say goodbye. Vince is begging you to say hello and goodbye in the background so they can hear it on the radio, dear. Okay, just say the hi hi. There you go. Are you hi happy? hi? Yeah. That's. Hi. That's it. There you go. Where's the ER at? It's not plural. No, it's just I say see, hello see. and then say yeah. goodbye. Well, who and says? Dutch. She did. Not hi. Quit Dutch. calling it Dutch, you monkey. What the well, fuck whatever. is wrong with you? Danish, I mean. Quit taking your smart pills, son. I, They're I'm fucking channeling, up your vision. I'm, I'm channeling uh, the souvenir, Walter. Yeah, but you say Dutch, 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 and she is not Dutch. I know. It's, I know that. I and do. See, and there's the cor- very cornerstone of my complete fucking disregard for all this game playing we do with, oh, this country owns my paperwork, so look at how important I am. And all, and it works, too. Woo, I've, Grammy I've, Mary. Hey, Grammy. Right. I've been playing off the passport for fucking, what, since 89? I mean... But if it vanished, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give a flying fuck one way or the other. But because I have the damn thing, I'm not stupid. I use the tools given to me to get through life. That's what they're for. Doesn't mean you gotta <coughs> like every tool you have, but you have to know how to operate the tool, <coughs> or, it, or it won't Fire work for hope. you. <coughs> Fire no. Fire in the hole. Oh, uh, let me, that put, me. Let me put some fire in my hole. <coughs> Excuse me. You and Circle did radio? Went back a world no. truth? Huh? No, Circle never did radio. She's she's far that. too shy to do the radio. She used to be our backup and our tech support. And all oh that. yeah, she'll she'll produce the thing, but now I can do it for myself so she can go walk the dog and do something fun. She doesn't get stuck sitting here listening to half a conversation. You know, because the mm-hmm. the answer isn't on the bottom of those cheap shoes, Clarice. Well, here's here's the typical. I'm sorry, I'd like to hear that again. Uh, Judge Red with the comments. See, this is how I know about this stuff. This is what everybody's trending is. Uh, what you call it? The Nike uh, takes a knee and uh, well, no, that's that me thing? and Mary Kate. That's oh yeah, her. and In and Out Burger. In and out burger, I don't know. That's yeah, boycotts cheesy... and all that. This is how they manipulate people. They they get them to uh, jump on board, be parrot people, and uh, uh, produce products that uh, go in yeah. and out. Yeah. Ah, right right yeah, down no. to your Nikes. Are you playing a word I, game I, with me, Mr. I am Vincenzo? very much. I very much am so. Now do uh, oh. voice again. I want to hear it. Say it. Which one? The one you just did. Uh, which one? I can't remember. I don't. Oh, I interrupted you. The voice. Who cares? We're supposed to be having a good time on this stupid dork table in the first <laughs> place. But strangely enough, you, you hit you hit a very um, intricate freaking topic that 
everybody's going to have an opinion about it. Of course, it's it's just the the design of the argument in the first place. But for either gender to think that they know what's right for the other is insane. You only know what's right for you. And whatever gender you are, you got stuck with that. So my suggestion to people would be what I try to do is mind my own fucking business until my you know business becomes hey i need an abortion well then it's my business and then i have to make a decision but until that happens it's other people's problem and i just leave it the fuck alone does that explain it any more clearly <coughs> than i did earlier absolutely how i try to no. look at it cuz no but not, i do not agree absolutely not uh, i don't even know oh, what the okay. ad was Grimner, what's it was what was the nike ad about see that's how much that uh you know, me neither no idea that. nike fuck them just another slave manufacturer making multi-millions of dollars off fucking slaves so and you think we've killed what? all well death in the end but uh speaking of death do you, do you think we've killed all the ducks in the uh the bots over I, here? I have no idea. I've never killed a duck. I've never wanted to kill a duck. I don't want to befriend a duck. I don't want duck. to be smirch a duck. Ducks are evil, bad. You're, no, kill they're not. Them. Yes, they are. The I ones see over them here in are town especially every day. Well, in, no, I'm in a culture that has ducks in the center of fucking downtown. You can't go I'm, into downtown. On the right is a church, and on the left is the where the ducks seem to gather it on the. Canal. I'm not talking about your ducks, man. I'm talking about well, the can... ducks, the duck hunt in uh, Real Liberty Media over here. No, it's evil. Won't play. Yeah, it. there. Yeah, you have to, or you're a part of. No, it. I don't. Yes, well, you I'm do. Part of what? You're oh, part now you're all you're evil thing. Up. Now right. you side with the evil duck. Ah, oh, okay, uh, sure. If if that's the way you see it, old delusional one, <laughs> I side with Listen, <laughs> the enemy <laughs> of your enemy <laughs> may not always be your friend. Well, the weird, weirdest part about it is I still don't feel that enemy thing anywhere. So, eh, it's a bunch of crap right now. Mike Stickler, uh, biographer Clive and Bundy, he had made a post in the he said about uh, 7% of the donated shoes actually go to uh, uh, some type of, of uh, a person in need and through the uh, goodwill or whatever. That, uh, the rest of them just get chopped up and recycled. Chopped up and recycled. That's Hey, you know what? Maybe we could give them some competition. I bet we could chop shit up and recycle it. Mm-hmm. Nike. What do you want? So Gramner tells us Nike uh, used uh, Colin Kaepernick. 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 Found buzzing. What is it? Who is it? Oh, I missed it. No, no. I'll check it later. Uh, this guy, whoever he is, Kaepernick. Yeah, he's uh, a football player. Made, I think. Oh, football player. And they commented yeah. about if you believe in something, sacrifice everything. Just yeah. do it. Oh yeah, sure. Talk a good game. You're it's always some rich prick telling you to give up what you have. <laughs> yeah, easy for them to tell you cuz they ain't doing it. Well, he could probably afford to to burn a thousand uh 100 dollars and, and to me that's that's what society wants, <laughs> not what I want. I don't support any of that crap, but it's there and it's going to be there no matter whether I support it or not. Listen, I'm going to need you to get on board with something in your life, mister. What? I don't know. Something. Like, give me, well, give me a choice that's not stupid, and I might like it. All right. I want you to, uh, who is this? I don't even know who that is. Oh, look at the Grimner man. He's saying, hey, fuck the military, bunch of pussies. And <clears throat> in a sense, I agree, but in another sense... I lived among them, and some of those fuckers are hardcore, and some of them aren't. But there's some gangbangers in that fucking military. When I left America back in uh, 11, I'll tell you a little quick story before I get off the road here. Uh, there was two Marines. One of them owed the other $30. And in, in uh, one of the neighborhood bars, he shot the guy that owed him the $30 dead. Did, in the did back you say... Of the, Doll hairs? Yeah, 
thirty dollars. Doll hairs. Thirty Shut doll up. hairs. What? Stop. They You're collected. killing my story. Go ahead. So he shot him dead over a fucking thirty dollar debt behind the fucking bar in the neighborhood I lived in before well, I came to Scotland. It was that'll like show fresh. Him. That'll show him. Well, right? yeah, but that's the quality of of humanity that they're getting in the military now. It's well, I bet he. Good. I bet he won't loan him any more money. No, I guess not. But <laughs> that's the quality of what they're putting in foreign countries representing America. Think about it. Is that in order? No, but if you go out and vote, I I thank you very much for all the help. Oh, yeah. Hey, guess what? What? We got five minutes to go. And you know what? It's Tuesday. And we get hamburger. Well, who oh, follows us on ah, Tuesday, you bonehead? I, oh, I'm supposed to pay for a hamburger today. <laughs> Bye, day. But from who? <laughs> I had it the uh, other day. Uh, Tuesday. Thing. Oh, hey, all that served my country. All, what a load of shit. I like to be served Serve my, country. my hamburger hot in free fries and kitchen. Uh, please. You racist. Why? Are you a racist? Yeah. Come on, white boy. You can tell I, me. Are you? I, are you I, a racist? Be pretty fast and loose, but yeah, no stripes. Yeah, but is your white race going to survive? Are you guys going to be extinct? Yeah. Hey, pick One this conversation we'll have, up. We'll have homogeny. Yeah. Be homogeny. Yeah, Saturday, Saturday, we'll talk about the extinction of the white race and why it's so important. Well, you know, that's a big issue for a lot of people, but. Uh, they're taking uh, it serious. It, it's, <laughs> it's funny. It, it's like um, America, you know, if you say. There shouldn't be black. Didn't want blacks here. Uh, don't want yeah. Mexicans coming coming over. Well, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it's all uh, in fact. It's factual. It's happened. It's history, and it is what it is today. And and that's where we are. You yeah. cannot do nothing. You know, everything's moving <laughs> progressionally in in uh, you know towards homogeny as far as races, supposed <sighs> races go. We're not we're not different races. We just have different physical characteristics expressed. No, but it's fun to watch you white people dance. Yeah. Let me tell you, man. Yeah. It's like watching, like, uh, a bag of chickens. Mm. This girl in uh, I, uh, in Vegas, April, just, she's black. Yeah. She'd say, come on, come dance with me. And I would be dancing. <laughs> and laugh. <laughs> she'd say, come on, white boy, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's listening. I shouldn't laugh at that joke too much. <laughs> and I laughed. And Thanks, laughed. Vinny. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. They were trying in the rectory or rectum or something. Oh, Lord. Oh, they were trying to hide something in the rectory or the rectory. Hey, wait a minute. That's just wrong <laughs> in more ways than I can count. <laughs> you know, there's uh, like government. You know, it's infiltrated with evil. And, and uh, the church has been used as a a separate power for a very long time. So it's corrupt, absolutely. But there are people within the Catholic Church that are very, very good people. And there's uh, uh, traditional Catholics, which have broken from uh, the the, uh, the the Vatican. Um, yeah. And I got the chance to uh, meet and get to know some of those folks from nuns and priests and uh, uh, brothers up there at uh, Mount St. Michael when I was up in uh, Seattle with my friend John. Uh, wonderful people. And, yeah. uh, you know, so it's hard to throw that robe over them all that they hide behind, right? It is time to right. call and them Right, and it's hard not to as well, yeah. though. Well, yeah, that's true. That is true. But they're not all. Yeah. You know, I don't know what the percentage is, but there's definitely been a cover-up. And uh, it's time to, uh, if it means uh, tearing down the cathedrals, then uh, by all means, tear it down and drag them out. It's unacceptable. Well, if it's unacceptable, why is it happening? That's what I mean. You can you do the crime first, and then you spend 10 or 20 years in court arguing about the details of this fucking crime, and nothing ever changes. You're just conned by the law is handling it. And no, they're not. They're making it happen. 
And we'll continue that topic on Saturday on the next episode of Dorks in On the Moon. <laughs> Dorks. Dorks in Space! <laughs> Thanks for coming along for another great adventure <laughs> with the superheroes Flash and Captain Vinnyverse. Hey, thanks for thanks for doing this off the wall dork table tonight, Vinny, and thanks for the RLM for hanging on. I I, I had a good time. And See you, you next episode. The and power of. We're-